Hey YouTube, I'm here this time um, in a different location. So I'm actually in my mom's apartment in Kansas City. Um, so I am going to come at you today with my wish list for the Bath and Body Works semi annual sale for the summer of 2022. I'm just kind of like in this location because I had planned to push out this video on Sunday, the day before the sale was supposed to start. And then I found out once I was already here that now it's allegedly starting on Saturday. So I wanted to get this video out before um, the sale starts. So you'll have to excuse my lighting in this particular room. It just kind of is what it is. But like I said, I really wanted to just push this out um, and just kind of tell you what's on my wish list before the sale actually starts. And then we can compare it to my hauling. So will I haul and do a video on Saturday? I don't really know because I, so I'm in Kansas City now and I'll be traveling to Wichita on Saturday. So I'm still gonna be traveling a little bit uh, at the very beginning of the sale. So we'll see what happens, but that's a maybe. So I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, today I wanted to share with you my wish list for the summer semi-annual sale. So um, I will say it's not very long. So a couple reasons why it's not very long. Um, first and foremost, I just purchased a whole bunch of spring and summer soaps, primarily summer soaps. So I, unless I'm like really dying to have something at the semi-annual sale, I don't know that I'm going to pick up a bunch of soaps. So I, you know, I never want to say like, oh, I'm definitely not picking up any soaps because you never know what will happen. But, um, but I don't have any soaps on my list. I feel like I'm pretty good for the summer for um, what I want in terms of that, but I do have a couple items. So, and the other reason why I don't really want to pick up a whole lot of stuff is because I am moving to Kansas City in July. So I'm living in Denver now. Um, I'll be moving to Kansas City at the end of next month. So I just am trying not to buy too much stuff before I go. Like I'm really just trying to um, continue working down my collection rather than adding too much stuff to it. So Anyway, not very extensive this year. Um, we'll see what happens with my actual purchasing, but that's kind of why. So um, a couple things I wanted to start with with my list. Um, so in terms of sets, I do want to pick up a set or two of Berry Waffle Cones. So I know it's online only. I don't really love that, but it kind of is what it is. So I do want to pick up one, maybe two sets of Berry Waffle Cone. I actually don't like it in the in-home fragrance. And I think it's just all right in a hand soap, but I actually like it in body care. So the body care is different to me. The body care smells like a fruity cereal, whereas a home fragrance is, at least in my mind, much heavier on the like cone, like the waffle cone, and actually a little bit spicy too, and I don't really love that. So I do like it in body care, not so much in home fragrance, so I wanna pick up definitely one, but maybe two sets online of Berry Waffle Cone. Speaking of online, if they have good scrub deals online, I'll probably pick those up too. Um, so we'll just kind of see what happens like on the app or on the website, whatever, and just I'll just go from there. Um, the other set I wanted to pick up is probably like three sets in one in a million. So even though I'm really trying to not buy a whole lot of stuff, one in a million is returning as one of their like throwback fragrances or retired scents that's coming back. Um, to me, it smells pretty much like Velvet Tuberose from back in the day. I love that scent. It's a very heavy white floral. It's a little bit peppery, not like a black pepper, but almost like a pink pepper at the end. And I really like that. So again, you'll have to... Uh, never mind my lighting here, it just kind of is what it is. There's a huge window here, that's why the lighting looks so crazy. But anyway, I'm just kind of putting this together for y'all. Okay, so one in a million, I'll probably pick up like three of those. I really, really love that scent. Um, so four shower gels. So I have not purchased a shower gel. Well, I picked up a couple like vintage shower gels, which I'll haul toward the end of summer. I have not purchased more than one shower gel since the end of the winter SAS. Like it's been a long time. I've done a good job with my shower gels. Um, so I do have a couple I do want to pick up. So Country Apple is coming back. I do want to pick up probably like two of those, maybe three, but I probably won't do more than that. I have not seen or heard anything, but I would love Cherry Limeade to come back. I am seeing that a lot of the rest of the line is coming back for the most part, but I would really love to see Cherry Limeade. If I see Cherry Limeade, I will snatch that up. So do I need a lotion in the mist? I don't know, maybe, um, but I definitely would love to snatch up a number of shower gels and Cherry Limeade. It was such a like delicious 
cherry limeade scent. Like it smelled like something I would drink during the summer. It was so good. So I had one last year. I really wish I would have picked up more, but I would love to see it come back for SAS this year. So we'll see. I've got fingers crossed hard for that, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, something else I want to pick up from that same kind of line that Cherry Limeade was in last summer is the Fresh Coconut Colada. Very much so like a sugary uh, blue coconut scent. Um, I think that I really just need to pick up one shower gel and I'll probably be good, but I can always appreciate a blue coconut from time to time. Uh, strawberry soda. So as you guys know, I'm not really a fan of strawberry soda myself. To me, it smells like strawberry jelly. Like to me, fresh strawberry tart is what strawberry soda should smell like. Strawberry soda to me, again, smells just too heavy, just too sugary. Like it smells like jelly to me. However, um, I had strawberry, like just like straight up strawberry um, and a shower gel in my May empties. And I'll link that down below, by the way, so you can check it out in my May empties. And my husband expressed that he really liked it. So I said, oh, it's coming back for SAS. It's gonna be called this, it's called strawberry soda. So why don't I pick up a couple? So for my husband only, I'll be picking up two shower gels and strawberries, uh, strawberry soda, excuse me. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad scent. It's just not quite what I want it to be. I want it to be effervescent. It says it has a soda note and whatever, but I don't really think so. To me, it just smells very sugary and heavy and not drinkable. So I will pick up two just to appease uh, to appease my person, um, but he wants me to get a couple of those. Um, also, coconut pineapple, that came out, I think, for the first time maybe in, what, like 2020? Um, and it's coming back as part of the same line as, like, strawberry soda um, and uh, coconut colada. So, coconut and pineapple, I enjoy the scent. I don't feel like it's really hoard-worthy, at least not for me, but it's still a nice uh, summery coconut pineapple scent and I do enjoy it so I'll pick up one shower gel maybe two but probably just one because I am trying to be a little bit conservative so I feel like I say that and then we'll kind of see what happens but my goal is to be uh, kind of conservative with uh, this particular semi-annual sale um, a couple items I want to try I want to try bubble gum pop I'm a little nervous that it might just be fairy gumdrop and fairy gumdrop is not bad but it's not really like you know, it doesn't change my life. So I've never actually picked up a fairy gumdrop. I'm hoping it's not just a repackage. I would really love to have something that's very um, bright and fruity and not necessarily fresh, but just like very fun and girly for summer. I'm really hoping that bubblegum pop will kind of meet my expectation, but we'll see. So I definitely want to try that. Also, I want to try orange vanilla twist. I was a little bit nervous that it would just be, um, what was it, from a couple holidays ago. It was like an orange vanilla swirl scent, something like that, that came out for holiday traditions. I want to say maybe 2019 or so, something kind of like that. Um, and, you know, I didn't dislike it, but, you know, just kind of like fairy gumdrop, it really didn't change my life, so I didn't pick it up. So I've heard that orange vanilla twist is not exactly that scent, so I do still want to try it out. Um, but it's very possible that I won't purchase it. So... Uh, like I said, that's kind of it. I do have a couple candles that I will exchange once I'm back in Denver. I will definitely not be doing that toward the beginning of the sale just because I feel like it's not really a good time to do exchanges and anything more than just like a straight purchase. Um, but I do have a couple candles that I don't like. They like they just kind of give me the icks when they're burning. So I will be exchanging those. Um, I did some recon at a Bath and Body Works near me yesterday and I actually really do enjoy the red, white, and blue cake candle. I didn't think I would like it, but I kind of do. So it's very much so like a berry cake, which is interesting to me. Um, so I may exchange eventually one of the candles that I don't like for that one, um, maybe the, what is it, like sour lemon or sour melon drop. That was a pretty interesting candle too. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with those exchanges, but unless I'm really dying for a soap or for a candle, I'll probably, like I said, just keep it kind of conservative. We will always see what happens with semi annual sale. I may wind up picking a bunch of cool stuff for 75% off. You never know. But like I said, at least in my mind right now, I'm going to be a little bit conservative just because I am trying to whittle down my stash, especially so I can be ready for really wanting to purchase more items for the fall and winter um, and also because I'm moving. So not especially excited 
setting, but I still wanted to push out my list so you all could hear, um, at least in my mind, what I'm kind of thinking about moving into SAS. So with that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As always, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.